Earlier this week, the Ohio State University President Ted Carter kicked off his inaugural state tour. Over two days, he and his team, along with a bus full of students, traveled nearly 500 miles round trip to Northeast Ohio. They met with community leaders, researchers, students, and family businesses. We have students from all 88 counties of Ohio, well over 65,000 strong, 70% of them from the state of Ohio, but we also have extension and research. The president's first stop was Green Circle Growers in Oberlin, Ohio. As one of the largest greenhouses in North America, Green Circle Growers boasts over 150 acres of indoor growing space. This family-owned company, thriving for over 55 years, includes many OSU alumni on its staff. From there, President Carter, who was joined by Ohio State First Lady Linda Carter, visited the Lorraine County Extension Office in Elyria, Ohio. This is Peyton. Hi, Peyton. Ted Carter. Hi, I'm Linda. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Ohio State University in Lorraine County is well known for its 4-H programs, particularly in STEM education. Through 4-H STEM school enrichment activities, they promote hands-on learning and help teachers achieve their educational goals with the county's youth. Additionally, the SNAP-Ed program, despite facing high demand, successfully reaches many youth and adults through its in-school and adult programming. Later, President Carter rejoined the students at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, home of the Cleveland Cavaliers. The state tour showcased the university's commitment to community service. The Office of Student Life, along with Cavalier staff, Coca-Cola representatives, and members of the National Association of Collegiate Directors of Athletics, teamed up to support the Children's Hunger Alliance. The Buckeye community is statewide, it is countrywide, it goes so much farther beyond just our city. On the court at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, they packed 2,300 weekend meal boxes, equivalent to nearly 14,000 meals, for distribution to over 50 partners across the state. The students who participated said this project was the highlight of the trip. My favorite part was definitely the Cavs Stadium packing lunches for the kids. The bus then headed to Civic Stary Island in Chagrin Falls, a family-owned ice cream parlor where the ice cream is homemade and produced on site. Many of their flavors are named after classic rock songs, paying tribute to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. Thank you. <laughs> Students interacted with the locals, asked trivia questions, and handed out Ohio State items. Families took pictures with Brutus, the drum major, and other students. Brutus even served the community with his own unique style. That's perfect! <laughs> Day one of the tour wrapped up at Punderson State Park, where the students relaxed by the fire, making s'mores outside the historic Punderson Manor Lodge. On day two, the team began their trip at the Lake County Fair in Painesville. President Carter and the students connected with the local community, celebrating agriculture and youth development. The 169th year of the fair honored the region's agricultural roots. Linda and I are thrilled to be here with you at the Lake County Fair. 169 years, how about that? What a wonderful way to start off. Carter, along with students and university staff, toured livestock areas, visited a poultry show, and helped lead the national anthem. The state tour then moved to Mentor High School, helping the university connect with the future. Nice to meet you. I'm Jacob Cooper. Jacob, nice to see you. I got asked to uh, greet President Carter, which was really nice. That was a really cool uh, way to make a connection, uh, put a name to a face, so that was a lot of fun. The Office of Strategic Enrollment Management hosted a pep rally at one of the largest school districts in Lake County. Around 200 people attended the rally, including current mentor students and staff, as well as prospective students from nearby high schools. Members of the OSU Athletic Band celebrated the region's students who will join Ohio State in the fall. President Carter spoke about the value of a college degree and the university's commitment to affordability, noting that 58% of Ohio State graduates leave without debt. Two incoming freshmen won scholarships in a raffle, including Kate Lisachenko, who is especially excited to get to campus soon. And I like that they brought all the students because I feel that when I get to talk to the students, it makes me more excited to go to school and seeing that they've been through the experiences firsthand that I'll be going through. President Carter and the students then visited Patterson Fruit Farm in Chesterland. We really emphasize the family part. 
The Patterson family has been involved in Ohio agriculture and higher education for generations with a long history as OSU alumni. They toured the apple orchards and explored the farm market, sampling fresh peaches, apples, corn, homemade pies, and a variety of other delicious treats. On top of watching how like even graduates from here come back and work the places they came from and bring the knowledge that OSU was able to offer them and in return they work in partnerships like I've definitely seen I'm pretty sure that they've worked in partnership with us many times so it's really cool to see how they give back after going there. The final stop of the tour was Sandridge Crafted Foods in Medina. Led by the Sandridge family who are Ohio State alumni, the company has strong university research partnerships and a long history with the College of Food, Agricultural, and Environmental Sciences. Dean Kress joined President Carter and his wife, Linda, for a tour of the facility. From The Ohio State University, I'm Amanda DeJong for Ohio State News.